Over the last six months, the Texas Rent Relief Program has distributed more than 800 million federal dollars to tens of thousands of renters, more than any other state rental assistance program in the country. But we've discovered nearly half of those who've applied for the program are still waiting for assistance. On average, applications are taking more than 60 days. KXAN investigator Avery Travis shows us thousands of applicants who have been approved have not received any money yet. In Georgetown, Mary Jo Shoppa manages 15 different rental properties. I can't go anywhere the first 10 days of the month because I'm busy with collecting rent and writing checks. But she hasn't collected a check from one particular tenant since June. I don't have anything and I at a loss. Over the summer, the tenant and Shoppa got word they'd been approved for the Texas Rent Relief Program and would be receiving 5,700 bucks in the next two weeks. Nothing, no word. That was three months ago. So after spending what she says was hours on hold, she filed an official complaint. We found complaints against the program have gone up every month since they started taking applications in mid-February. Payment and processing delays were some of the most common problems reported. And right now, more than 14,000 approved applicants are still waiting to receive their money. Because they got such a large amount of money quickly, and then they were supposed to put it all back out again, and they didn't have the infrastructure in place to be able to do that. Housing Works Austin says it's a problem facing other states and local rent relief programs, too. Any one of those programs, getting the money out, it has to happen faster, as fast as possible, so that those people are not evicted. People like Jason Belk, who lost his job right before the pandemic. We burned through almost $40,000 worth of savings, pulling out our 401ks, our retirement, doing everything we could to keep the house. Including applying for Texas rent relief back in March. But every time I'd submit the documentation, they would come back and ask for more documentation. He appealed, but was greeted by more silence until we pressed program officials about his family's case. When I got the phone call, I was in tears. I would be, you know, in one of the homeless shelters, in with a friend, in with a family member. With, without a doubt, y'all kept our house. But he's worried about other families stuck in the process. Not just homes. It's going to cost lives. It'll be an untold amount of pain and suffering and lives lost. The Texas Department of Housing and Community Development actually had to relaunch the entire program in mid-March, just about a month after going live. That's because the original system couldn't handle the amount of applications coming in. A spokesperson says they are still dealing with duplicate applications and some delays because of that relaunch. Still, they said one of the most common delays was applicants not uploading all of the required documents. In a statement, they said they were working in, quote, the most efficient way possible while adhering to all of the federal federal rules in place. In the newsroom, Avery Travis, back to you. Avery, thank you. And program officials encourage any applicants who have been approved but are still waiting on payment to call for an update. But you can also file an official complaint against the program. We've got a link on how to do that with this story on our website, kxan.com. Just look for the investigation section.